Evan, who is 15 now, has always had some issues. He's always had issues with balance and he's always been very thirsty. So for a few years, we've, a number of years, we've known that there's been something not, not right. We went to see an endocrinologist to see about his growth and any underlying problems. And then the next morning, he called me at 9.20 and he said, um, I have some bad news and I hate to do this over the phone, but there's a sense of urgency. And I looked at my husband and I was like, I don't know, you know, I was like, it's not good, it's not good. And uh, he said that Evan was in kidney failure. We had him tested and the doctors decided it was nephronopthesis, which is a rare genetic disorder um, that is caused by two recessive genes in the parents. So the nephrologists suggested really that we have all of our boys, we have four boys, we have all of them tested. Two of my boys, Noah and Garrett, their blood work came back normal, but Elijah's was not normal. He was admitted into Children's Hospital for the same kidney disease nephronopthesis, and he had kidney failure and he was 10. So they gave him a catheter and started uh, dialysis within the week. And so now both boys, Evan and Elijah, are on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday dialysis schedule. But we're hoping that my husband will be able to give a, uh, his, one of his kidneys to Evan and that I'll be a good match for Eli and that we'll be, both be able to give a kidney to our boys. Uh, I was standing in the hallway feeling quite overwhelmed and uh, one of the nurses uh, pulled me aside and she took me by the arm and she says, uh, Mr. Haynes, we're your family. We're going to take care of you. And they have. Physicians at Levine Children's Hospital evaluated both boys to determine their candidacy for transplant. Once approved, their dad stepped forward as a potential donor. He was a match for Evan. On the day of the surgery, transplant physicians took dad in an operating room, then began on Evan in an adjacent one. The goal was to keep Dad's kidney unattached for the shortest amount of time. Its blood is flushed out to make the organ cold and protect it during the transition from Dad to Evan. It's sewn in. Clamps are removed and the kidney is reperfused with warm blood. The day of the surgery, having two of my loved ones in surgery was a little stressful, to say the least. Um, but I had so much confidence in um, the doctors, both surgeons. Knowing that my kidney is helping him makes me very proud. It makes me feel like, um, like I have an extra connection with him. I kind of thought that my dad donating my kidney to me would be strange but also kind of cool that I would have a part of him inside of me. I hope I get my kidney transplant soon. Now with Eli we we didn't have quite the same plan we thought. Uh, Laura turned out not to be a match which was a bit of a heartbreaker uh, and then her brother who was testing turned out not to be a match and that became the point where we started getting concerned. So when uh, Laura's sister volunteered to the test, she came up, spent uh, a whole week here with, with, with us, uh, and then within a few days of her going home and calling back and saying, when do you want to do the transplant? Uh, and it was, it was a matter of next week or the week after that. <laughs> So Eli came out of surgery, he was a rock star, he was doing great, he was on very minimal pain meds, and since he's been home, I don't think he's taken anything stronger than a Tylenol. Having a, a huge health crisis, like we did this last year, really put things into perspective. Hopefully we'll remember most of the stuff that we learned in the last year, and then we can be better, better parents. Someone asked me at work recently, what's the prognosis? And uh, my answer was the prognosis is a long, healthy life for everybody involved.